this would be a good place to put up the notice. Well, they put up the notice here on the barrel. There's a flight of steps here that leads down to the water. This is a place that should be minded well. If he got down here, his friends might have a boat to meet him. They might bring it in here from outside. Yeah, but what about the barrel? They're putting up a notice. Uh, yeah, it might be good. You can put it there. Six feet tall, dark hair, dark eyes, and a beard. There isn't much to take hold of in that. It's a pity I had no chance of seeing him before we broke out of jail. They say he's a wonder that a team makes all the plans for the whole organisation. There isn't another man in Ireland could have broken out of jail the way he did. He must have had some friends amongst the jailers. A hundred pounds is little enough for the government to offer for him. You may be sure that any man in the force that takes him will get the motion. I mind this place myself. I wouldn't wonder at all if he came this way. If he went from slipping along there, and his friends could be waiting down there, and once he got away, sure, it's little chance at all we'd have of catching him. It might be under a heap of kelp he'd be hiding in a fishing boat, and no one to help a married man that wants it to the reward. And if we get him himself, nothing but abuse on our heads for it from the people, maybe from our own relations. Well, we have our duty to do in the force. Sure, haven't we the whole country depending on us to keep law and order? It's them that are down will be up, and them that are up will be down with the bottom for us. Now hurry up. You've plenty more places to placard yet. And come back here then to me. You can take the lantern with you. Don't be too long now. It's lonesome here with nothing but the moonlight. Well, it's a pity I can't stop with you. The government should have brought more police into town, with him in jail, and that is size time too. Well, good luck to your watch. A hundred pounds reward. And promotion, sure. There must be a great deal of spending in a hundred pounds. It'd be a pity now if some honest man weren't to be the better at that. <laughs> Where are you going? I, I'm a poor ballad singer, Your Honour. I, I, I thought to send some of these to the singers. Stop. Didn't I tell you to stop? You can't go on there. It's a hard thing to be poor. The whole world's against the poor. Who are you? If I told you that, you'd be as wise as myself. <laughs> <laughs> but I don't mind. I, I want Jimmy Welch, a ballad singer. Jimmy Welch? I don't know the name. <laughs> Should they know it well enough in Ennis? Why ever in Ennis, Sergeant? What brings you here? Sure, it's to the assizes I can. Thinking to make a few shillings here and there. It's in the world train with the judges I can. Well, if you came so far, you can go farther, for you'll walk out of this. I mean, I'll just go the way I was going. Stop. Come back from them steps. No one has leave to pass down them steps tonight. I'll just sit at the top of the steps, the way I might be able to sell a ballad to some sailor that'll give me be supper. It'll be laid back to the ship, you know. It's off when I saw them in Cork, carrying down the key in a handcart. Move on, I tell you. I'll not have anyone lingering about the key tonight. Oh, very well. It's a hard thing to be poor. Maybe you might take a sheet yourself, Sergeant. Here, here's a good one now. Here's a good one. Content and a pipe. The peeler and the goat. <laughs> you wouldn't like that. <laughs> Johnny Hart. Now that's a lovely song. Move on. No, no, no. Wait to hear. Wait to hear. There was a rich farmer's daughter lived in the town of Ross. She was a perfect soldier, his name was Johnny Ross. <laughs> Says the mother to the daughter, I'll go to mint it, man. If you marry the Highland soldier, dressed up in his Highland plan. Stop that noise! Where are you going? You told me to go, and I was going. <laughs> <laughs> Don't be a fool, I didn't tell you to go that way, I told you to go back to the town. Back to the town, is it? Be off with you, here, I'll show you the way. I, I think I know what you're waiting for, Sergeant. What's that to you? And I know well the man you're waiting for. I know him well. I'll be going. Uh, you, you, <laughs> you know him? Yeah, come back. What sort is he? Come back, is it? Do you want to have me killed? Well, why do you say that? It's nothing. It's nothing, Sergeant. I'm going. 
I wouldn't be in your shoes if the reward was ten times a foot. Not if it was ten times a foot. Come back here, come back. What sort is he? Where did you see him? I saw him in the old place in the county. You wouldn't like to be looking at him. You'd be afraid to be in the wrong place with him. <laughs> there was no weapon he doesn't know the use of. As to strength, the muscles of him are as hard as them boards. Is he as bad as that? He is, eh? You tell me so. <coughs> was a poor man in our own place, sergeant from Valley Bond. It would be a lot of stone he did it. I never heard that. And you wouldn't, sergeant. And it's not everything happens that gets into the papers, you know. <laughs> there was a policeman in plain clothes, too. The room. It was after the time of the attack on the police barracks in Kilmallock. Moonlight. Just like that. A water sign. Nothing was no one for sight. <laughs> is that so? It's a terrible country to belong to. It is indeed. You could be standing there, looking down, thinking you saw him coming up that side of the cave. And all the while, he'd be coming up this other side of the cave. And he'd be coming before you knew him. It's a whole troop of police they ought to have here to stop a man like that. Well, if you like, Sergeant, I could shout at you. And I could keep an eye out on that side. I could sit up here on this bar. And you know him too. I know him a mile out. But you wouldn't want to share the reward. Is it me? A man that has to walk the roads and sing a fair to have the name on it that he took a reward. You don't want me here. I'd be safer in the town. <laughs> when you can stop. All right, Sergeant. I wonder, Sergeant, you're tired out with all the walking up and down you're doing. If I'm tired, I'm used to it. You might have hard work ahead of you tonight, Jet. Take it easy when you can. There's plenty of room up here beside me on the barn. You can see higher when you're far enough. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe so. You made me feel a bit quiet the way you were talking there. Here, I'll give you a light yourself. You might take a draw yourself, it'll quiet you. <laughs> Here, I'll give you a like, don't turn round, and whatever you do, don't take your eye off that key. <laughs> Never fear, I won't. Indeed, it's a hard thing being in the force. <coughs> Out at night, no thanks for it, for all the danger we're in. And little we get with abuse from the people, no choice but to do our duty. I never asked when you're sent into danger if you're a married man with a family. <laughs> it's through the hills I walk to view, the hills and the mountain stream. I stop to find where nature smiles to view the rocks and streams. On the matron mild, I fix my eyes. Beneath the fertile veil, and she sang her song. It was on the gong of poor old Manuel. Stop. That's no song to be singing in these times. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, I was only singing to keep me happy. It sinks when I, when I think of the two of us sitting here, and him out there, maybe trying to creep up to catch us. Are you keeping a good look out? Oh, I am. I am. And we're all out. I've done the right fool. But I never saw a man in trouble, but I try and help him get out of it. Oh, did something hit me? You get your reward in heaven. <laughs> <laughs> I know that. I know that, sir. But life is precious. Well, you can sing if it gives you more courage. Her head was bare and her grey hair over her eyes and down. Her waist and neck, her hands and feet, 
Very good place to be quiet. Would anyone come this way and you're making all that talk? Well, I'll leave the lantern. I don't, I don't want to take it with you. You might want it. The night before you get, and there are dogs coming up. Shall I leave it over here? Right. Take, take it with you. No more talk. Well, I often thought when you have it in your hand, you'd be flashing it about in every dark corner, and it's the same as being beside the fire at home, and the bits of fog would blaze up now and again. Be off with you, you and your lantern! <coughs> Well, what are you waiting for? For my hat, of course. <laughs> <laughs> and my wig. You don't like to catch a little cold, would you? Good night, comrade. And thank you. You did me a good turn tonight. And I'm grateful. Maybe I can do as much for you someday. When the small rise up and the big fall down. When we all change places. Rising to the moon. A hundred pounds. A hundred pounds. I wonder, I'm always bring a fool as I think I am. <laughs> 